outside gate, eternal words, come as you are as in. 1200 meters, the opener on the poly at Gravel. Just the hood to be removed from gate 11, does so now. And eternal words, the outside gate. Ready? Sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, Speedy Gonzalez is right there. Camferatus has moved up on the outside of runners to try and overcome that draw, but is strong. They are followed by Eternal Words with a good possession. Further back in the field is Blue Hope as Perfect Prezi now takes it up. He is getting the wake up call. The Red Silks is along the inside and Come As You Are is also a difficult ride. Then comes Wee Magu who gives them seven or eight length start. As for Rocking Rubies along the inside also being asked to quicken it up. Got seven or eight to make up. Then Teetotal Desert Phantom. Midnight Affairs the trailer. Perfect Prezi brings him into the stretch. Speedy Gonzalez second. Camferat has got the white blaze on the outside. Down the inside is Blue Hope. Then comes Hiam. Rocking Ruby still got it. Seven or eight lengths to make up as Camferatus comes into the lead. And it's Camferatus running strongly now. And Camferatus not for the catching. Camferatus will win it going away by four or five lengths. The second position is going to go to Perfect Prezi. Third place, Eternal Words. And fourth, Speedy Gonzalez. Number one, Cam Ferratis, the My Word, Robbie Hill, Diego de Cavea. And this one bred by Mr. and Mrs. Rob Pickering, Middlefield Stud. They paid up at 4 Rand 10 and they win convincingly, overcoming that draw and then prominent and they rush away from the opposition. So she wins it well and wins it by three or four lengths. The second position goes to Perfect Prezi. Perfect Prezi number 13, pace 1060 a place, 1060 a place, 108 rand a win. So it's many lengths back to the second horse. Perfect Prezi showing very good improvement. Third place goes to Eternal Words. Fourth position, Speedy Gonzalez. Then Teetotal. The arm is further back in the run. Come as you are. And Rocking Ruby, which was the tote favorite. And then Wee Maggie. As we take a look at the head-on, Camferatus was prominent, still being punched out. And the horse with the black... Uh, black cap is perfect crazy that's back in the second position this will be a nice exactor even though Camferatus was fancied in the betting perfect crazy was paying that 10 rand 60. next up is race number two and it starts off our place accumulator just to remind you then the third race the sun met as part of our card year. that will start off the pick six as part of the exotics it's at 17:15. until the second race back to the studio Paying around 4 and 10 the win, number one Cam Ferratis, the daughter of Byword has come through and shown them a clean pair of heels. This was bred by the Middlefield Stud, the Pickerings and owned by a host of winning connections. It's the Muirs, Manicums, Naidu, Sadlers and the Middlefield Stud. So well done to the entire team, come through to win a good contest. Number one Cam Ferratis having her fourth race course appearance. Robbie Hill's just on the phone and getting the congratulations from the connections. And coming to the course today, she looked very, very well and you expected her to go close. Yeah, you know, last run was, was a really, really good run. She missed the kick slightly, so that ends basically a winner without a penalty. And, um, yeah, I must say, um, yeah, she's, she's coming together. You know, the racing's helping. She's getting better with each run. And, um, yeah, she'll probably be better in winter because she's a slight thing and I'm battling condition-wise with her. But um, come winter, she'll be a better horse than what she is now. Fulfill your dream later on. Another big runner. Yeah, you know she also she's also come back to form, and um, yeah, I expect a big run from her. Well done to the stable. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and thanks to to everybody at home, Shannon, the Pat, Pat's input, and um, yeah, all the owners. You know, they've been patient, and um, yeah, thank you to everybody. Super. Yeah, thanks.
Robbie Hill as we get Diego de Gavea. He opens the meeting. And just looking at your rides, you look like the rider to follow this evening and start it off with a bang. Oh, geez, yeah. I think today I've got very competitive rides. Um, I don't want to put my head on the line and uh, say that anything will win. Um, but I do have very competitive rides throughout today. This one came through and won with a bit of authority? Yeah, 100%. You know, with all due respect to the rest of the field, it wasn't the strongest of bunches. Um, I mean, she did it very easily. I just gave her one or two reminders just to, you know, keep her interested. Um, and, you know, the way she won today, hopefully she can go on, go on from this and uh, pick up a few more. A horse like River of January, La Suta de Matar, they're in good spaces and they're going to be big runners? 100%. Um, I think my next best would probably be River of January. Um, you know, his work's been exceptional at home, but the only thing I'm worried about is the 19 weeks rest. But, you know, Mr. Dreyer gets his horses in pristine condition and uh, when it comes to the races, very rarely they'll be in need of the run. So I definitely think he's a big runner. Fingers crossed, we'll keep a close eye. Good start. 100%. Thank you very much. Just before I go, you know, a big thank you to Mr. Hill. He's been giving me a few opportunities lately, and um, I'm glad to have finally put one on the board for him. As well as to the owners, I mean, there's quite a few of them, too many to mention, but a big congratulations to them, and I hope that uh, they can go on from here with us fully. Well done. Thank you. Diego de Gabea for the Robbie Hill team. Cam Ferratas has opened the betting.